Okay, welcome back. Another day in the life of the Grimwards. So first thing, first, as you can see, I don't have a mouse on my shirt. This is, uh, we, we've we decided and through criticism of friends <laughs> that they could not hear me when I'm away from the phone. So anyway, vested in some mics. Hope this uh, helps you hear me better. So when we do stuff or I'm talking, I'll be wearing these and Leslie will have one and uh, we can uh, we could put a little link in the description down there to what we got we didn't we didn't buy the super expensive ones we got ones a little bit cheaper but I don't know we'll see how it works this is all trial and error anyway so today today we're gonna do a couple things we're going to we got a couple pieces of maple we got to finish splitting and then we're gonna get onto the cedar so I have never split cedar before either by hand or with a machine. So this is all gonna be new. Uh, so this is going over to, when this is done, this is gonna go over to our friend Jeremiah's house. He want, he gave us this cedar and then he wanted some to burn for firewood. So pretty much today, we're gonna to get you a little bit of footage of that. And then once this is all split and this area is cleaned up, we got an IBC tote that's pretty much full. And then we got an empty one and I'm gonna move those probably over here and we're gonna get ready for our next. The next plan of attack is going to be, we got a huge pile behind us and I'm not sure the species of all that wood yet. So we're just gonna cut some rounds off of it at some point and split them and then make our plan from there. But, uh, and then I'm gonna, I'll probably clean up down here a little bit and then we'll, uh, yeah, that'll be probably it for today.
It's been a good couple hour workout. We are now wrapping up for today. Um, got all this nice cedar, all split and ready to go. Got all that maple, all some premium maple. We got a whole bin full of that now. That's good to go. That's the rest of it back there. So we are pretty much at our goal of where we wanna be. Everything now is just gonna be extra. It's gonna be whipped cream on top. So the good thing is, is because now the weather's gonna start changing, it's gonna get warmer, and I don't wanna be out here when it's 100 degrees in the sun splitting. So um, we do have another pile behind me here, and I don't know, that is gonna be a mix of a couple different species, and <clears throat> I don't know. We're gonna just try some of that first and see what it is and go from there uh, to how much effort we put into making that pile disappear. But uh, as you can see, I got the wood yard all cleaned up now. Did a little tractor work, so everything is ready to go. Um, cool thing about this cedar is while you're splitting it, like I don't even know if people buy hope chests. What do they call yeah, so. Hope chests. And I had bought one for Leslie a long, long, long time ago. And it's, you know, they line it with this cedar to keep all your, keep all your things, you know, bugs and all that stuff don't like cedar. So keep all your personal belongings safe and sound. But uh, cool, that every time I split a piece of this, it just reminded me of her Hope chest and it smells really awesome. But anyway, I'm just gonna wrap it up for today. So, uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for sharing this with us. Uh, got Lacey out there checking things out, the boss. And uh, yeah, so like, click subscribe, share. Um, and let me mention something about sharing or you know, even subscribing. So, it had, something I had thought it hit me a while back and then I thought about with the whole subscribing thing or you know, it's one of those things I think to me inherently when I started subscribing to channels on YouTube, I was finding people when I was sitting in a, at an office desk that were doing things that I wanted to do or doing things at places I wanted to be. So what I'm saying is, you know, I hope you find this channel and I hope you subscribe and I hope you stick around because maybe you're in some place that can't get out and split wood and can't be out in this southeastern North Carolina weather. So that's what I'm trying to say, you know, that's where it started for me. So it was, it was a place for me to go away for 20, 30 minutes and be out in the woods, be outside. We got a fire burning in the back so you get that smell. But, you know, just being out here doing what we want to do. But I hope, you know, maybe you're somewhere where you can't be doing it and you tune in and follow what we're doing. But anyway, it's me rambling on. So, all right, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.